clear line. When you put them on the so you have one here and some other here and three here and four here. Just, just think about it. What do you think about it? What do you Give me, give me an element from here which contains this interval, just this interval. Okay, just for example, one. Can you, can you give me an element which can from this set which contains one? Sir, minus two to two. Minus two to two. One element is minus two to two is going to contain one. How about 2? Minus 3 to 3. Minus 3 to 3. How about 4? Minus 4 to 4. Minus 4 to 4. Minus 4 to 4. We can remove 1. I can try n plus 1. Where should it end actually? n plus 1. Minus 1. n plus 1. n plus 1. Do you agree that this is a sub cover? Of this cover, yes, which is oh, yes. still covers this side. Yes, sir. Because we have removed okay. one element. One okay. element, one molecule, one element, one element. Okay. 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 But what you can say about the cardinality of this cover, cover and the subcover, cardinality of subcover. So how many elements this this subcover contains? It could be. N. 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 N.
सर कॉम्पैक्ट इसको कहेंगे सर उस कवर ओपन कवर को कॉम्पैक्ट सेट कहेंगे या फिर ई को कॉम्पैक्ट सेट कहेंगे ई को कॉम्पैक्ट सेट ई कॉम्पैक्ट सो इट्स इट्स अ स्ट्रेंज काइंड ऑफ सर यू टेक एनी ओपन कवर एनी ओपन कवर ऑफ इट यू कैन ऑलवेज फाइंड विद इन दैट ओपन कवर सम फाइनाइट नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स रिमूव रेस्ट and those finite number of elements are going to still cover you know your set e so in other words no e finite so why i'm saying that it's the second best thing to finite so we are not assuming the finiteness of e here but one thing is that yes e can be basically covered by finite things Though it is not finite, they are may not be finite, but it can be covered with finite things. So this is finite things basically. Maybe from those finite things, so there are things infinite. Mm -hmm. Obviously, open sets. You know, you have <laughs> open sets can be infinite. Okay. But my point is that either things are, you know, either things can be finite, or they can be covered with finite things. सर कॉम्पैक्ट सेट बनाने के लिए हमें सिर्फ फाइनाइट सब कवर्स चाहिए हर ओपन कवर के लिए हर ओपन कवर के लिए दैट ई इज कॉम्पैक्ट इफ फॉर एवरी कवर जो भी आपने ओके यू कैन ऑलवेज फाइंड अ फाइनाइट सब सो इन अदर वर्ड्स फॉर एवरी कवर यू कैन ऑलवेज रिमूव लोड्स ऑफ यू नो अननेसेसरी ओपन सेट्स फ्रॉम इट and you can remain with only finite number of okay you know op op open sets okay and sub collection containing the finite number of open sets which you want to cover what what you have e actually okay your set e that's what sir you just sub cover banayenge and those ke finite sub cover adjust karenge wo to finite sub cover nahi nahi i'm not saying that is going to the sub cover is going to contain the finite number of objects So I'm saying that you have a set. So it's like you know, I will say that this table is compact. Why? Because you know I can I can fill it or I can cover it by covering this whole room, okay, with with the things actually. But the, you know, but if it is really compact, you don't need loads of things to cover it. You only need finite, finite things to cover it. Basically. That's what it means. Okay, so if something is finite, you only need, you know, finite number of things to cover. Okay, but it doesn't mean that. Okay, so you need to be very, you know, careful that because because it talks about every open curve. Okay, so just think about it. How it would be difficult to prove something to be compact actually, because somehow you have to check that every open curve. एज अ फाइनाइट सब कवर हां तो अगर ई है ओपन है तो उसका कवर ई होता फाइन तो ई खुद का सबसेट है तो यहां पे ट्रू है नहीं लेकिन ई फाइनाइट है ये कहां से है बट दैट इज दैट इज गोइंग टू बी जस्ट वन कवर ई फाइनाइट सो सो यू हैव ओके सो यू नो हियर इज द पॉइंट एक्चुअली सो ही सेइंग दैट Think about this set E to be zero to one, for example, in Euclidean region, and consider this curve. Mm -hmm. so just this oh, element. Just E itself. Finite. So that's that's a cover of E, containing finite number of elements. So the finite, you know, sub cover is going to be the itself. But you know, that's just one cover of zero to one. While here the claim is about all open covers. <coughs> Take any open cover of. This set E, if it is really a compact, mm -hmm. you can always find a finite subcover. That's what I mean. Sir, uh -huh. is it complex? Is it not all compact? Let's take let's let's take the example of Z actually. So zero plus minus one and so on. So how does how does how does Z looks like? So you have a zero and one and minus one and minus two. Minus three and so on. Two set. Okay. Ah, zero. Sir, sir, यहाँ पर जो हम e ले रहे हैं वो close ही ले रहे हैं. We don't have any structure on e. It's a subset of that. 
So, so, so see, you know, since you have to verify this condition for every, so it's like proving something compact is going to be very tricky. But disproving something to be non-compact is going to be very easy. What would be the negation of this statement? Just try to find a cover. Just try to find a cover. We doesn't have a finite set. So give me a cover for this set. Okay, so this one is big, but I want to take something other than this, for example. So what do you think and what should I take? Give me a cover for this set. Just 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 take the picture and think about it. What you know, what is the thing that, that is going to cover this intelligence smooth set? Which are going to be the open intervals which are kind of going to cover this whole set. How about how about drawing a small ball of radius epsilon on each of the numbers? Okay. In other words, I'm taking take x minus epsilon. X minus epsilon and x plus epsilon. And then x plus epsilon, where epsilon is some positive number. You can make it as much as big and as much as small you want. X belongs to, okay. belongs to z. Where x belongs to z. You think it's a you know it's a cover of E? Yes sir. You, you take you take the union of all these open intervals and going to cover. But just think about it. If we just miss one element of it. So let's imagine I just throw away C minus uh, say minus epsilon and epsilon. In other words, I just throw away this interval out of it. Just one. Can this be a cover of the Z? No, sir. This can't be a cover. You know, forget about finiteness. <laughs> okay. Can this be a cover? This can't be a cover. Okay. So in other words, if you have Z, Z is not compact. Why it's not compact? Because I have I have a cover. And I removed, for example, only one element. You know, just forget about you know, removing infinite number of elements. Okay. I mean, if, if obviously if you if you take only finite of such intervals, is not going to contain whole of Z. It's just going to contain some finite number of points, basically. Of the set of Z. And hence, you know, a finite sub collection of this cover it cannot cover basically Z. So Z is not compact. So to prove something to be not compact is very much easy. That's fine. Just take a cover and show that it doesn't have a finite sub cover. Okay? It's going to be. But sir, what if it is I would like to write an example which is, which is going to be kind of also an example of basically this. So if if finite, if the compactness is second best thing to be, you know, finiteness, then at least finiteness should be a compact thing at least. So every finite thing should be a. So it's like we are saying that okay, things can be finite and compact. So, so if if the compactness is generalizing the notion of comp, you know, finiteness, okay, then finite things should be compact at least. Okay, so so, so I would like to prove a little theorem which says that you know every every finite set is compact. Set is compact, you know, obviously in a metric space. Okay. I'm going to later on show that this compactness is is a very beautiful property. Why? Because these rest of the properties that you have learned for limit points and you know open sets and closed sets, these are not kind of intrinsic properties of metric spaces. Okay, you change metric space, you know, something which is open in one metric space is not open in another metric space, basically. Uh, you know, forget about taking another metric space. You take a metric space, 
and you take a subspace of a metric space. I hope you have done subspace. Of yes. You take a metric space and you have you take the subspace of a metric space. So something which is open in subspace is not necessary that it should be open in the biggest space, the parameter space. And something which is open in parameter space is not necessary that it should be open in subspace. So otherwise, these open sets, closed things, all these are not kind of intrinsic properties of metric spaces, but I'm going to show the compactness is an intrinsic property. So something really deep actually. Okay? So why do you think that finite sets are compact? Let me draw a picture. And let's think through the picture first and then write the proof. So, so that's my space x and I take some bunch of points. So I have some points basically from this space. Finite set of why this set must be compact? Jitne points hai har ek point ko cover karne ke liye. So what cover should I take? So it's a, it's a, it's a very correct way of thinking, basically. Okay. So we need to we need to show actually if it is compact, we need to take an open cover. Arbitrary open arbitrary cover arbitrary. to show that it must have a finite subcover. Okay. So let's let let G alpha be a be a cover cover for E. Okay. And give me a finite subcover. What do you think that? So what could be the G alpha? So it could be a crazy kind of a collection. Okay. There, you have loads of open sets you know, containing all this set, these points. But what do you think that what is sufficient to take? Circle on every point. Circle on every point. So 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 we're gonna say that is this thing about it. This E is contained in this union of G alpha, right? Agree? Yes, okay. But E is finite. Say, say, say E looks like this basically. E is x1, x2, xn. Say xn, something like that. Okay? So if x1 is in E, that means that it must be in some elements from union. So if it is in the union, there must be some elements. Some elements. So we're going to say that as each xi which is in, so you can also see it from picture. Just take those open sets which contains basically. So each, as each xi belongs to E, implies implies which is contained in obviously union of G alpha. Okay, implied X I is that there exists <coughs> that there exists right. there exists some alpha i you know, corresponding to each X i such that X i contained in G alpha. So what? So is now. What take thing? what 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 side should I take? G so take alpha. this set G alpha one, G alpha two, up to G alpha n. Yes. Is this a cover for E? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. This is a cover for E because you know all of these points lie into one of the one of the. So it's is a is a is a finite subcover. Finite subcover of e. Sir, uh, G I F I. Oh. G alpha. Yes. Sir, her G alpha I open set है. तो हम उन उनमें neighborhood बना सकते हैं जो complete union में लाया करेंगे. X I पर. तो हम वो सारे neighborhoods लेने. That would be. So otherwise you can go even further. Yes. No, but subset तो नहीं आएगा. Subset change करेंगे. क्यों? 
जैसे वहां पर हम कर रहे थे अगर सेट चेंज कर रहे हैं उसका नेबरहुड चेंज कर रहे हैं तो फिर वो उसमें बट यू नो देयर इज नो पॉइंट ऑफ टेकिंग दिस नेबरहुड बिकॉज़ यू ओनली नीड बेसिकली ओपन सेट्स टू टू कैरी योर पॉइंट्स सो वी से दैट यू हैव अ यू नो क्रेजी कवर ऑफ दिस सेट ई so you can say just take those open sets which contains your points but since you have finite number of points obviously those open sets which contains your points is going to be finite in number and is going to be sub collection of your given collection and hence your finite set is called so finite sets in all means is space in the space sir so we took g alpha to be arbitrary collection means uh, g alpha jo कलेक्शन हम ले रहे हैं कवर वो मतलब सब कवर्स को जाहिर कर रहा है जो भी कवर दिस दिस इज एन आर्बिट्रेट So you can treat this curve as kind of an example as well. You have some more sets. Okay. Take take metric space R. Okay. Take metric space usual metric space R and consider this set. फाइनाइट तो नहीं है सो इट्स अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जांपल ओके वी नो फाइनाइट सेट्स आर कॉम यू नो कॉम्पैक्ट बट हाउ अबाउट दिस वन ओके लेट मी मेक योर लाइफ इजी नो व्हाई आई एम इंक्लूडिंग जीरो एंड एट यू नो वी कैन सी दैट बेसिकली आफ्टर गोइंग द हेनाय बोरेल थ्योरम दैट व्हाई यू नीड सो नॉट सो आई एम जस्ट इंक्लूडिंग दिस आई एम नॉट putting you into too much effort when you think that okay <laughs> zero should be there if zero is there then you know it's going to be compact so 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 if, if i have this set is it is this going to be compact so zero to find it zero in the so in order to prove compactness What do you need to do? I need to take an open curve. Arbitrary open curve. So let's take an open curve. G alpha. Okay. Of this set E. Arbitrary curve. So cover. Of E. Okay. So I'll I'll just give you a pictorial proof. Let me try to write for yourself. You know what would be the precise way of doing it. So I'm saying that you know if I have a cover of this set E, then there must be an open set in this cover which contains zero. Which contains what? Zero. And since you have Euclidean space, this open set is going to be what? Oh, this open thing is going is going to look like something ball. It's going to be ball or union of the ball. So imagine it's a, it's a, this kind of a thing, which contains the. Okay. Why this open set is a very interesting open set. Just think about it. So this this interval 
is going to contain how many elements of this set? Two minutes. Loads. We can find in after that all the okay. points. Will be. Okay. That's that's a very interesting point. That okay. Maybe not so much interesting that it's going to contain loads of points of p. But let me ask a very interesting question. How many of the points are not in this interval E actually? Are, are not in this neighborhood? Find it, find it, find it, find it. Find it. Did you see that? So if, if this neighborhood contains infinite number of elements of this set E, you know how many are remaining on this side? Do you agree that there are going to be only finite number of points which are not going to be in this interval? Agree? So take. Why not? So see, you see, we, we say that after this point. Fix the end. Fix it. All of the all of the elements of E are in this neighborhood. Mm. So the question is that how many are on this side? Five. Five. They are going to be always finite. So I want I want a finite subcover of this set. So obviously this set must be included in the cover. Subfinite, you know, subcover. How about the rest? Both are finite. So I will just took an arbitrary curve. So that's an arbitrary curve. I don't know, I can't show it. That's one of the elements of the So So one saying that okay you have some random open intervals containing all of these points. Okay? So you can have you know open intervals which contains the points after 0 as well and you know after 1 as well you know. so you have you have a random collection of open balls for example okay, which contains your, your all of these points okay. so my point is this my point is this that if you have an arbitrary collection of open sets which contains all of these points there is going to be one open set, or open neighborhood basically, which, which contains zero. And that neighborhood is going to contain infinite number of elements of E and not going to contain finite elements of basically says E. So keeping in view this picture, give me a finite subcover. Give me a finite subcover for this one. So almost, you know, the riddle is almost solved actually. I mean, if you if you just think about it, can't we cover? Because you see that you have covered infinite number of elements with this one neighborhood E. You only only need to cover only the finite, yes, sir. basically, you know. Huh? Minus R to R to the limit. So sir, can't we cover it with just one neighborhood? Which is that neighborhood? Give me that neighborhood which covers everything. Sir, as we say, that koi bhi to uske to My point is this: take take this neighborhood, okay? And since you know all, all these points are covered by G alpha, so there must be an element here which covers this, 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 and which covers this, and which covers this, and which covers this. And I say that take all these elements. So this is one element containing infinite number of E's and since the finite numbers are remaining on, on this side basically finite. so there are going to be finite G alphas which contains actually your all these points mm -hmm. and you add one to it you know this neighborhood and hence you can cover you know all of these for example if there are n points on this side which are not in basically you know this neighborhood then you are going to have n intervals which contains all these points and plus one, if you can exist in terms of the and hence it is going to contain what? A finite subcover. Subcover. That is going to be the subcover of the G alpha. Subcover is in cover. It is cover in D. So it's not subcover in subcover. No, but we just we don't need to go that many deep. So we just we have a cover. 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 We have a cover
Which color? This color? No, 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 no. So, <laughs> okay. Okay, so, 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 so this color is an arbitrary color containing arbitrary number of elements. Okay? And my claim is this since this G alpha is a cover for the set E, so there must be one element which contains.